So Luke, it's your birthday. Yep, birthday today. Yeah, um, happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, just uh, treating myself to a little morning morning coffee sack. <laughs> <laughs> Been an interesting birthday so far. Um, had a had a literal rude awakening this morning. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. The boys got me with the old shaving cream gag. So yeah, and um, it's it's my 29th birthday. So of course, what's to follow? But the the 29 punches. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Today. Uh, we are heading into the studio with the mighty Scott Horscroft. Um, I, I just can't wait. Yeah, there's, there's no place I'd rather be on my birthday um, than you know than with my best friends making some tunes. So now nah, it's going to be going to be awesome. This is a real property you got here, brother. Yeah, man, it's cool, isn't it? It's impressive, yeah, man. Yeah, proper full analog studio, and full uh, analog. you know, it's great to have you guys here. So I spoke with Dan. All right, yeah. So Dan's mate, great. Yeah, He's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I worked with Daniel on the album Young Modern. Um, we became really great friends from there, and he's got really great ears, so I trust what he sends me. What do you want to achieve today? Man, I think what Danny was getting at um, might was just, that... Sorry, interrupt. I think what Daniel's after is something that sounds like it's from the future. Um, future. Yeah, um, so, you know, because yeah, Daniel's... Was a, a metaphor, obviously. It's, like, not actually from the oh, future, but yeah. um, he wanted to hear songs that were written tomorrow, not yesterday. Because he's kind of a, you know, a, do you know Dan? He's he knows Dan. They've been... Yeah, so he sent us here, so they know, they know each other well. Brother, all you need to do today, I implore you, is relax. We got this covered. You hit record, man. Well, we'll get you set it up in here. If you've got any other questions, just ask me. But uh, my nephew Angus is here as an assistant as well today, so oh, cool. uh, he's here to help out with anything. Cool. Great. Hey, uh, Uncle Scotty. Everything's working. I accept the little the little baby ant. Uh, what's the problem, mate? I don't know. It was working yesterday, but I just pressed the on um, switch and it's not doing it. Is it plugged in? No. All right, one sec. There we go. There she is. We did it, Scotty. It's on. Oh. Okay, mate, just take it easy in there. Thanks. Are you happy? I'm always happy, mate. I'm as happy, you're happy. You know, uh, thanks, Angus. Oh, man, this is great. I gotta say I'm a big fan. Oh, really? Yeah, man, love it. Oh, thanks, love it, man. You do a great job. Thank you. Really living your dream. Well, we try and we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had a dream. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, man, I played footy. I was a really good footy player when I was younger. All right. Yeah, and... Uh, Ended up playing state, which is just before the big league, and then... I went to a holiday, a Kentucky tour over to South America. Right, yeah. Family and went, uh, you know, giant flying foxes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went on one of those. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> so cool, yeah, really man. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Flying through nature and then... Uh, right. Yeah, long story short, I didn't know how to slow down. Missed a few details there, and my legs were my brakes, and they broke. Oh, compound fracture. Career over, dream over. So, um, yeah, I'd say I fell into a pretty deep pit of despair and self-loathing after that. Shame. Wow. More than anything, man, just like, you fucking idiot. And I'm so sorry. You fucking idiot. It's still a very organic process, but I kind of nudge the lyrical content um, towards a place where it's um, you know, it's going to make a difference to someone and actually have a little bit of meaning. It's like drugs and sex oh. and punk rock and roll. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's still punk. I just feel guilty, like, putting out any old trash. I am cut, ready to fuck, ready to fuck, ready to fuck. I'm I am cut, ready to fuck, ready to fuck. Do you like the band? Yeah, well, look, they're not going to win a Grammy anytime soon, but um, they're pretty fun. Oh! What have you 
decided to do with your job or fun? I don't think I'm going to take it, um, mainly because it just doesn't feel like the right time in my life. But um, yeah, I mean, it's such an honour to be asked and, um, you know, it could have been something uh, that could work, but I feel like right now I've got to focus on other things. And then he walks up to the microphone, right? Yeah. And he goes to sing, and I think something was wrong with the microphone because it zapped him as soon as he went to sing. Oh, no. And then he peed his pants. Oh, God. That's right. so awkward. When was the last time you peed your pants? <laughs> oh, I think it was like maybe in year 10. Cops and robbers, dibbit dobbers, slap them in cuffs, behind bars, slap them in cuffs, behind bars. Um, one of yours, they're one of ours. One of ours. One of ours. I was like disrupting the class and then I just couldn't stop laughing. So oh. That was pretty awkward. But... Hey. Hey, let's get to the kettle. Oh, yeah, sure, man. Um, I might just oh. leave you guys to it, but. Alright. It's no hot water. Oh, dude, sorry, I just made a tea and <laughs> forgot right, to. Man. Story of my life. It's alright. <laughs> You know what, Will? I don't need hot water. No? Nah, man. Cold works for me just fine. Oh! I mean, not to suck my own dick, but I was pretty good. And I was playing a really elite level, and then this <laughs> bullshit accident happened over in Machu Picchu. Oh, playing football? No, man, on a flying fox. Oh. Yeah, broke both my legs. Oh. Straight through, bone through skin. <laughs> and I mean, it's just like your life is on and then it's off. And it has been off ever since. Just off. Fucking hell, dude, that's horrible. Yeah. It's funny, but I, in that moment, the only thing I could think of was like, how can I yank myself with my uninjured hand back out in the middle of the gorge, unclip myself and just let myself fucking fall into oblivion? Because yeah. ultimately that's what happened anyway, Yeah. mentally. How's Mikey going? Any updates? It's hard to actually like find something wrong, but you know something doesn't feel right. Do you still love each other? I don't know. That's what I mean. Like everything feels so familiar and so comfortable. And you're just like, you're each other's best friend, so it feels like love, but whether it's actually love. Someone said it to me once, you're either with someone forever or it's gonna hurt like hell at some point. Silence. That's really cool. I like, yeah. I like how it ends on the solo. So yeah. we have yeah. the song, have the verse and the chorus. Wish I could play guitar. So started on the solo too. Okay, Pause yeah. solo. Hey, Pelvis. Hey, good up, mate. How you going? Yeah, good. Right. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Do you want to come inside and have a listen? It's sounding pretty good. Sorry? Do you want to come inside and have a listen? Oh, uh, mate, no, I'm sweating. You yeah. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you guys do all that. Um, you know what you're doing. Yeah, look, we uh, still write songs fast as shit, you know, just uh, pump them out. Because generally uh, you write a song and the next one's just way better. So, you know, you get it over and done with and then you got, you know, the better ones keep coming. Um, I think that's probably what Daniel was talking about, um, was the songs from the future. Those are the best ones. And we're still very methodical. Uh, to the untrained eye, it might seem pretty chaotic and like, hectic, but um, we know what we're doing.
cool. Right, fuck you. Guys, can I just say, I am gobsmacked. That was one of the sickest days of work I've ever had. So far, so good. No joke. Um, Powering along. Give yourselves yeah. an early mark, I reckon. Let's <laughs> fucking go. That was sick. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jamie, just before we, we finish up for the day, I was going to just suggest, um, you know, if you guys are cool with it, um, we could maybe try one more song, but it could be that song that I wrote, you know, the, um, the Live in the Daily Grind, um, the one I sent to you. It's, it'd be, like, really easy, just because it's already written. I've already written the whole thing. When did you send it? I've sent it to you a few times. Um, uh, which email? You know, Mr. Workhorse at hotmail.com. Mr. Dot Workhorse? Yeah, that's the one I sent yeah, it to. Yeah, well, I didn't get it. I sent it to you a few times. It's okay if you haven't listened to it, but um, I just thought, you know, like, we've got a couple of hours left and it'd be great to get one more song and that one's already written. Ah, fuck it, I don't think so. Let's just have a cup of tea. I'm chill. We should have some time. Just run through it real quick. It's really simple. Like, it, it, there's just, like, two parts in the song and it'll work really well for Wales. I wrote it for Wales, so, you know, it could work. Wrote it for Wales? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you for that. What do I owe you? I just, you know, I just thought it's already finished and we could just, you know, give it a go. It's not finished. No way. Not finished until it gets in the room with all four of us. Yeah, well, we could do, try that and finish it okay, together. All right, look, why don't, let's be fair about this. Why don't we just put it to the vote? Um, anyone in favour of working on um, Luke's uh, tragic little piece of shit stand over there? And uh, anyone who would prefer just to um, accept that we've done a day's work and actually be grateful for that, um, stand over here. Well, what the fuck? I've got some time, why don't I give it a shot? You fucking coward. And what the fuck, Todd? You're the last person I would have expected this from. Hey, it's just easy to do that song, we'll just smash it out. No, we'll that, just, we just smash that's it. That's not the point, no, stop, it's not the point. No, stay there, traitor. Fuck you, stay there. This is completely emblematic of this fucking weasel trying to get in on my, my flow all the time, dude. We're not interested in your songs. How many times do I have to tell you this? Mate, it's just one No, fuck you, fuck you, you big tall geek. So How would you get man? so tall, you big monster? Hey, why are you doing you're, you're this? like a daddy long legs. You got a gut full of venom, but pincy little shut fangs. Fuck, up, man. fuck you, shut the fuck up, cunt. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hit me, man. No, you hit me. Hit me. No, you hit me. You hit me. You hit me. I'm not gonna go for it. You fucking hit me. You fucking traitor. You happy with yourself? Huh? Look what you've caused. It was a really great day until all this, wasn't it? Hey, did you have fun on your birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. I can't do this anymore. Just leave him. Just leave him! It's a bit much, isn't it, with the waterworks and that? <laughs> Luke was a... A charming guy. They can get a fucking tour manager next time. I'm not gonna fucking do it anymore. This is what happens when you're in bands, you know? Members change. Well, that wasn't very good. Oh, sorry. No, don't be sorry. Sorry. Well, the thing about drummers is you find that you just interchange them and no one will even notice. I really love your band. Okay, well, That's you've why embarrassed I... yourself in front of your favourite band. I don't know if Daniel's still gonna wanna sign us, no. I would like Luke to show up tonight if he could make it. You coming to Newcastle? We're in Newcastle. I'll tell you what the fucking problem is. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's do it. Not hot, spicy.